Hi, I'm Alan Piercy from Raleigh, North Carolina. You know, since I turned 18 and registered to vote, I've had the opportunity to vote for George H.W. Bush, Bob Dole, George W. Bush twice, John McCain, in spite of his wackadoodle choice for vice president, and Mitt Romney. These were all good men, all flawed idealists, but at, at the end of the day, all good men. But I could smell the decay of Donald Trump long before he gained the unfortunate nomination, the unthinkable nomination in 2016. There were two candidates in 2016 who didn't know what Aleppo was. I voted for the less toxic of those two, Gary Johnson. Donald J. Trump and his administration have been an unmitigated disaster for our country. After three and a half years, they've left us with historic and unsustainable deficit and debt loads. They've created a toxic stew of corruption and incompetence and divisiveness we haven't seen in this country since 1968, or potentially even since the Civil War. We're at a low ebb right now. Make no mistake about it, we are a great country, and we will survive, and we will thrive again after one unfortunate term of Donald J. Trump. A second term, however, would fundamentally change our nation and our democracy in unfathomable ways. He's already abdicated our leadership role on the world stage, and that vacuum is being filled by China and by Russia. He's alienated our, our closest allies. His only goal seems to be to remove the guardrails that protect our republic from autocratic rule. He's a vulgarian and a fool and has no place in a leadership role in any capacity. My God, much less the presidency of the United States. You know, I look forward to a, a day where we can come together on the right and the left and, and debate the finer points of fiscal policy and foreign affairs. But in 2020, it's about the very soul, the very survival of our republic. I would strongly encourage all of us to come together uh, without regard to our past political leanings, left or right, our past affiliation with Republican or Democrat parties. There's one man who's positioned to take our nation where it needs to be, to recover our standing in the world and, and put us on the right path. So in 2020, Let's go, Joe.